Hello, I'm speaking in my capacity as Chair of the Historic Environment Forum and I want to focus on the benefits of collaboration as exemplified by the Forum, which I think are really relevant to the key elements of the SAL Manifesto. HEF was first set up about 20 years ago, but since 2020 it's been upgraded with additional resources and dedicated staff. It covers England and brings together senior representatives of all the key national organisations involved in the heritage sector. HEF aims to encourage collaborative working and it provides a direct link through to government. It's hosted by the Heritage Alliance and it's funded by Historic England. Over the last two years the main HEF group has met monthly using Zoom to maximise opportunities for information sharing and collaborative working. A HEF steering group meets in advance of each meeting to ensure that the meetings are well prepared and ensure the smooth operation of all the different HEF activities. A number of separate task and finish groups have also operated during the two year period, supported by dedicated task group managers. Topic groups also operate under the aegis of HEF, currently covering issues such as planning reform and skills. In the last two years, HEF members have discussed a wide range of issues. Task groups have tackled issues relating to sector recovery from the impacts of the COVID pandemic, climate change and sustainability, and enhancing sector resilience. A strong relationship has been developed with government and HEF staff meet regularly with DCMS officials and DCMS also provide regular updates to HEF meetings. HEF staff coordinate with HEF members and DCMS officials to support the meetings of the Heritage Council. Over the last year, as the heritage sector has emerged from lockdown, HEF members have worked together to produce a plan to enhance sector resilience. This plan was published in June 2020 by HEF working in conjunction with Historic England, and a delivery plan is now in preparation to detail how the sector can work together with government to become more resilient in the future. The new HEF model has worked well in challenging times to support the heritage sector in England. Collaboration has been crucial, particularly during the difficult period of the COVID pandemic, and we've seen the benefits of the sector working together and presenting a united front to government in order to receive much needed support. This approach could be extended to bring together the different elements of the archaeology sector and there are already good examples of collaborative approaches, for example in developing regional research frameworks. It's important to stress that collaboration does not necessarily need to involve major structural changes in the sector to deliver the better outcomes and enhanced public benefits that we all seek. We need to develop more cooperative space that establishes real trust across the sector between competing agendas for different bodies. We need to overcome compartmentalisation and build better cross-sectoral connections.